electrical energy. So we use electrical energy to power our laptops, smartphones, and different household and industrial applications. So this is playing a dominant role in our day-to-day -day activities. Did we know that this demand for energy, electrical energy, keeps increasing day by day as a result of social and economic developments in our society? At the same time, the materials which has been used so far are fast depleting. Whether it could be a coal or oil or any other sort of device or a material is fastly depleting. So what is the solution? So we are in a need to maintain the sustainability of our environment. How could we do that? We have a new solution by using a new material of this ticket, which is graphene. This graphene has got enhanced physical and chemical properties. As a result, this has attained the Nobel Prize due to its remarkable properties this has got in the technological industry. So in this talk, we are going to see how this graphene is going to add a new dimension or a new perspective to the sustainable energy systems. So we use different sorts of energy devices like batteries, internal combustion engines, and the supercapacitors, and sometimes uh, renewable energy sources to supply our energy demands. But did we notice that all of these devices have significant drawbacks in one or more different forms. If you take the case of the batteries, you have the severe problem of pollution. If you take the case of internal combustion engines, you have noise emission and problems in material disposal facilities as well. Although we have a solution which is the renewable energy sources, but they have a complex problem of engineering infrastructure I mean, taking the substance from the laboratory to the actual commercial applications. Solving all these problems, we have like a new energy device, which is a fuel cell. The fuel cell is a one type of energy device, which has an advantage or significance or poses no problems as posed by the previous devices. This fuel cell is a device which supplies electrical energy by using simple alcohols, I mean the liquid alcohols as the fuels. So you supply methanol on the one side, what you get is electrical energy. The process takes place in such a way that there is no release of harmful environmental pollutants as in the case of batteries or the internal combustion engines. Further, this operates in such a way that there is no noise generated during this process. Then, I'll then next we have the, the infrastructure, which is much more simple and easily reliable than other devices. So overall, this device has so different advantages when it compared to the previous things. And this is the actual fuel cell test station uh, from the University of Manchester, and where we work and get different interesting and surprising results uh, in our lab. So as you could see, this fuel cell resides in the center of the system. And this is supported by a methanol solution and an air cylinder tank and other electrical components to support the operation of this fuel cell. So I specialize in the w preparing the different materials for the engine room of the fuel cell, which is placed in the center of the fuel cell system. So we test with different materials and try to analyze their performance. If you see actual the mechanism of working, this is a bit more self scientific. Uh, so you just feed the alcohols on the one side and air on the other side. This engine room is called as the membrane electrode assembly. This has got mem electrodes on the two sides with the membrane in the center. So the researchers work with the different materials on the different systems to enhance the electrical conducting properties or the protonic conducting properties because you have two different sections. One is the electronic part, the other is the protonic part. We test with different substances to enhance the protonic route or the electronic route so as to enhance the rate of reaction to produce higher efficiency or higher performance. And while we try and produce different materials, we haven't got, we haven't got like very good, excellent results, but we have a topic called the new material, graphene. So what is 
making the graphene more significant attention these days. It's because of its structure. And this is the, the structure of graphene, as it could be seen from a high resolution scanning electron microscopy or some other sophisticated techniques. What makes significant this is flat structure. As you could see, this is a complete flat structure with the carbon atoms arranged in hexagonal lattice. This structure makes the flow of different substrates across the surface much more faster with less resistance than other materials, which is making a tremendous impact in every field, whether it is medical, chemical, physical, or any other industrial applications. Why? Why graphene? We also have other materials like the nanotubes, the fullerenes, or which are like different forms of carbon. So what makes graphene significant is a is an excellent structure. So if you take other materials, <coughs> the nanotubes or fullerenes, the structure is rolled or foiled in different way that makes the transfer of those substances taking some more time or creating some sort of differences. This makes it making more phenomenal structure, making possibility for different applications. So we were quite fascinated about this property. And, and we also found this, this graphene, in spite of having all these significant advantages, has also be, can be tuned. I mean, it's flexibility. So no material can be used if it's, there is no flexibility and it has like just more tremendous properties. And we found, based on the discussions with School of Physics and from the National Graphene Institute and the University of Manchester, this graphene could also be tuned to shoot the demands of the environmental friendly energy device, the fuel cell. So what we did was we took a piece of graphene, functionalized with some chemical agent, made into an excellent electronic conductor, and took the same sheet of graphene and functionalized with protonic conductor, so make it as an excellent membrane material. So we tested the electronic conducting graphene as an electrode and the proton conducting graphene as a membrane material. So what we found was so quite interesting results, and which was like, I was like, <gasps> happy really for me, first a part of my PhD project. So we found a significant improvement in performance. Uh, this is the actual, the power performance curve by which we characterize different energy devices. So as you could see, the blue one indicates the standard which the materials have been used from the different companies. We, get, we got a power of uh, around 50 blue watt per cm squared, and when we added the graphene, the power performance improved to 50%, which is quite significant and was quite tremendous when we compare to different materials used by the different researchers across the globe. And we also need to note on this, this graphene is the first ever 2D material ever invented. So as you could see, this the thickness, uh, actually we have like three different dimensions, but the di dimension of graphene is just two because one of the dimension is less than the thickness of the human hair. So one by thousand times less than thickness, which makes uh, excellent the properties or contribution of excellent properties to the substance. So overall of using graphene in this fuel cell, we get electrical energy, which is clean and environmental friendly. At the same time, we produce a water, which is a part of this fuel cell reaction system. And we have the tremendous impact of undergoing a massive reduction in size. I mean, like the substances may undergo uh, one by thousand or much more thinner in size, which is possible. So based on the results obtained, so we are just trying to commercialize the system for different applications to make the end user much more uh, usable for different substances. So we are now trying to use the systems for automobile applications, for the laptops, and even for the mobile applications. So imagine if energy could be generated just from a piece of paper and from a few droplets of alcohol in a safe and environmental friendly manner. And we believe this could be possible by the use of graphene and this wonder material in this fuel cell and make a tremendous change to the human society and the energy industry in the near future. Thank you.